Hi guys, do you think to use lambda function is complicated for Python users at the beginning? Or even for some experienced person? So no at all, it's just a myth. So this video lecture will help you a lot in lambda function. And not only in lambda function understanding, even you can use this concept frequently in your Python script. So let's go to the Jupyter notebook to explore the lambda function in greater details. So guys, lambda function are very powerful concept. These function define without a name. That's why we call anonymous function. It is very useful in data science, data automation and machine learning in general. You remember our Python function are defined using the DEF keyword. And here anonymous function defined using the Lambda keyword. So let's take an example for your better understanding. So I'm going to define DEF and double of X. And here I'm going to return just double of my X. Let me execute and I'm going to mention here X as a seven. So what I did here, I created a function and I supplied a value of X and it is returning me a double value. That's it. Fine. Now the same example I'm going to convert using the Lambda function. So first let's understand the syntax of Lambda function. So we need to start from the Lambda keyword. After that, you need to define your arguments. After that, your expression. Okay. So synthetically, Lambda function are restrict to only a single expression. Okay. So the same example, now I am going to convert using the Lambda. So simple double equal to Lambda. Lambda is a nothing is a keyword. And this is my the argument and expression is this one. So here double is my the function variable, which will store the result of Lambda function. Okay. And X is my the variable or you can see that argument and X as strict to is my expression. Okay. So if you input X to me, then I will give you the double using this expression. Same value I am going to use here six. So it is giving me 12. And let's say num equal to lambda x plus five. Now print the num. Let me let me assign some value for the x. Let's say 10. So it is giving me 15. Fine. Now I'm using the two arguments here. Let's say add equal to lambda and these my the arguments x and y and after that I'm using my expression which is x plus y. Okay, now print add and here I'm going to supply the value which is 10 and 20. So simple we can add this. Okay, so now I am giving you a very elegant and live example for the lambda function or normal function. Okay. So we need to insert or like some kind of data. So, okay. So I'm going to import pandas as PD. Just I'm reading the data. That's it. And my operating system module. Okay. Now, as of now, I am using pandas for reading any Excel file. Okay. So let me change my directory os.environ and here user profile and plus documents, documents and data. Now OS dot list DIR using this command, we can get all the list of the files. So I have only the single file, which is sales data CSV. With the help of Lambda, I'm reading the files. That's it. Okay. So no need to focus on this. We will learn these things in greater details later. Simple sales data. 
now sales dot hat. So I have this kind of data, right? Where I have order ID, product, quantity, order price, and order date. So guys, from this data, can we create a bucket based on the price column? Based on this price column, can we create a bucket? So our bucket structure will be, let's say, zero to hundred, and one zero one to five hundred, and greater than five hundred. Okay. So how we can create this type of bucket using the normal function and lambda function? So what I'm doing. First of all, I am going to create a basic function. Okay, so let's say def calculate price. If if my price is greater than equal to zero, and my price is less than equal to hundred, it means I am going to return zero to hundred. Fine. Now, alif price. is greater than equal to and price less than equal to 500 now i am going to return the another bucket which is 101 to 500 else return greater than 500 fine now let me execute this function let's say calculate price And here I am using for an example, let's say, two forty. Okay, so I am getting the correct answer, right? Now, how you can apply this normal function on your data using the lambda function? Okay, so what I what I want to do using the lambda, I want to call the normal function. Okay, so let's say my the data which is sales dot head, I am reading only the first two. row and based on this price i want to create my bucket now sales i am going to create a another column which is sales bucket okay sales bucket now equal to sales dot apply apply is nothing is the pandas function inside the parenthesis i want to use the lambda function so how we can use the lambda function simple we need to write the lambda and this is my the argument now i am going to write my expression so in the expression i am going to calling my the function which is calculate price okay and here i am going to call my the this one price now copy and okay and here i am using axis equal to 1 because i am going to perform this operation on the column so that's why i am using the x is equal to 1 now sales dot head so you can see that 700 is greater than 500 14.95 is 0 to 100 and so on so guys here what we have done in the lambda function we used lambda with normal function as a expression okay so that's why i want to give this example how we can call the normal function inside the lambda function okay so so guys it is a very elegant and concise way to use the lambda function i hope you enjoy this session thoroughly right in case any question do you have then please let me know in the next session you will learn how to use lambda function with python built in function like map reduce and filter so guys practice of lambda function more in case you have any question then let me know in the below comment thanks for watching and have a great day